This is so much more fun than playing on the controller, even though I clearly suck at it right now. This is so much more fun. Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the Logitech G29 steering wheel along with the pedals on your PC in order to play games like Forza. I do not have the gear stick today, but this exact same method will apply to you. The only difference will be plugging in the gear stick. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump into the video and I'll show you guys how to get this thing set up. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure you get your pedals connected to your steering wheel. The pedals have got a cable that should look like this. So here is the underneath of the steering wheel and the pedals will plug straight into the socket here. Underneath the steering wheel, I have little icons anyway. So this one's a pedal icon and that one's for the gear stick. So if you do have the gear stick, make sure you plug it in on that side. So we're just gonna go ahead, plug the pedals in there. And then this should also come with a power cable which plugs in right next to where you've just plugged the pedals in. So that just pops in right there. And so that is how you're gonna power the steering wheel and the pedals. And then the last thing you need to do is plug in this USB cable, which is directly connected to your steering wheel into the back of your computer. And then we'll hop into our computer and I'll show you guys the next step. So on your computer, you're gonna to wanna to come to this website here, which I'll leave linked down in the description and just download it depending on what operating system your computer is currently on. So I'm on Windows, so I'll download for Windows 10. You will download it here. You're gonna to wanna to just click on that. Give it a second to launch. And there you go, it's launched. So once you've downloaded it and opened it up, click install. Give it um, about, I think it takes about one minute to install fully. Okay, so once it's installed, you'll see this page here. Just go ahead, click next, next again, and then click launch G-Hub. So here you can click on whichever preference you want. Uh, I'll just decide to just send error logs automatically and I'll leave the other ones blank. And then you'll get this pop up here that will say connecting to basically whatever setup you're using. I'm using the G29. Uh, I haven't got the gear stick. I've got the steering wheel and pedals. So now you can go ahead and actually plug this into the mains. So you're actually getting power to it, uh, which is what we're going to do now. Okay. And once you have got the steering wheel plugged in, you should see it spinning just like it is now. Uh, and that just means that it's connecting to the computer and calibrating. So over here, the app will look like this. It will no longer say connecting. You should see your steering wheel. Sometimes it will show your steering wheel, your pedals and your gear stick if you have one. Uh, but don't worry if it doesn't show all your equipment because it doesn't necessarily mean it's not connected uh, like my case right now. So you can go ahead, you can click onto the steering wheel and that will pull up uh, where you can basically map the buttons. And so pretty much how it works is you will click with your mouse on whichever one you want to change. And then you'll click the corresponding button on your steering wheel to change it to that button. We're not going to change it now because I have everything set up the way I want it to be. Um, but we can just go through here and show you guys. So here is the steering wheel sensitivity. So if I turn my steering wheel, then it will turn on there. Here you can change your sensitivity settings, the center and spring strength. And then here you have your pedal sensitivity. And if you have a gear stick connected as well, you'll also see a gear stick um, option down here. And here you can change basically the sensitivity of your pedals, your brakes, your clutches and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have it all connected to the PC, software's working, uh, and we know that the steering wheel is successfully being picked up. Uh, now you just need to mount it to your desk. So it has got these little knobs on it here that you basically just twist and it tightens it from the bottom here. I would strongly recommend putting something down before you put it on because I learned the hard way that I chipped my paint. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw a towel down there. And then we can just go ahead and push that on. Once you have it right where you want it, you can then begin tightening these and then we'll tighten this one as well. So once you have it as tight as you want, these actually just push down. If you twist it slightly to the edge, they will stay down. Uh, and that is it. That's the whole mounting process done and you're pretty much good to go now. So let's go ahead and launch Forza and I'll show you guys that this is working in game. Okay, and here we are in Forza. As you can see, the pedals are working. Steering wheel is working. We are in our Hoonigan drift pickup <laughs> twin turbo god damn i suck at this so bad but <laughs> it is so much more fun playing on a steering wheel it's a, it's a lot more challenging you do kind of like completely need to relearn the way that racing games are played but i mean that's all part of the fun isn't it and drifting with this wheel is is amazing um i mean i don't know if i'd call it drifting really because i'm kind of just power sliding into walls but we're getting there we're getting there but for anyone that's curious, I'll quickly show you guys um, my settings on Forza as well that I use with the steering wheel. So if you go into settings and go into advanced controllers, I'm just going to scroll through this and you guys can go ahead and copy that. Here we go. So those are all the settings I use. You can pause it and copy what I've done. Uh, but those are the ones that work best for me. And I've also um, watched a bunch of videos and those are the ones that also work pretty well for other people too. Um, so yeah, there you go. It is really simple to get this steering wheel set up and working on your PC, it's like little to no effort. 
Um, I think the next step here is this one's not actually mine. This is my brother's steering wheel. I wanted to try it out just to make sure that uh, it's actually worth the investment, and I think it definitely is. Um, so when I do get one, I'll probably get one with a gear stick so I can, you know, manual shift because manual shifting is a lot better for when you're drifting, especially. Um, but yeah, this steering wheel is a lot of fun. And by the way, shout out to my brother for let me borrow this. You guys can go and check him out on Twitch, which I'll leave a link down in the description. He streams pretty much every day, I think now. There you go. That is a quick and easy tutorial on how to set up your G29 Logitech steering wheel. This also applies to the other G series um, steering wheels. It is pretty much the exact same setup. Hope you guys did find it helpful. I'm going to go and have a lot of fun playing Forza now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.